Hey, I'm Malachi Allen, and we've made it to UBC, and we're about to go check out the Museum of Anthropology to discover what true reconciliation is. Come with me. During my time spent browsing the museum, a major question came to me. The first one being, could a building holding the First Nations historical art and secrets to the way of living achieve true reconciliation? As a non-Indigenous institution, they are striving towards this goal with free admission to students as a way to educate themselves on the past and acknowledge where Canada has failed. In hope, this next generation will move past this to unite Canada as a nation. Another gesture is anyone wearing an orange shirt in memory of residential schools that took place in Canada also will receive a free admission. Acts like this encourage people to remember what happened and bring awareness. But how can art achieve something as large scale as reconciliation towards a people group? Art is powerful and can achieve anything if people themselves are open to viewing and allowing themselves to grow and educate beyond whatever personal bias they might be holding. And when it comes to the present, we need to view the First Nations beyond their past. There is a whole generation of First Nations who still face injustice today. A certain art piece that stuck out to me was the modern First Nations weaving that is a symbol of power and identity. Weaving is important to First Nations people and a part of their history and tells their stories. Many weavings are hung up around the museum and not only to share the beautiful stories but to inspire people to share their stories. This particular piece celebrates the new generation of the First Nations and teaches them the art of weaving so that the art will continue to thrive and won't be forgotten like many other First Nation ways. This museum really opened up my eyes to the possibility that art can mean many different things and teach different things. It can show us the historical evidence of Indigenous people's past to non-Aboriginal Canadians who were taught so little in school about Indigenous culture. Art can tell stories of Indigenous experiences in an accessible way. Instead of hearing about the past, we can go to the museum and live in it. Art can let us experience reconciliation in a way textbooks and words do not. It allows us to learn about the First Nations people and how they lived through a more visual learning style. Art has the power to inspire, to inspire change. It can trigger the right emotion to change your perspective on certain views. Art holds the power to change the way we reconcile Indigenous culture and people. When looking at Indigenous art, we are expressing our appreciation for Indigenous culture and the land. For example, totem poles. Totem poles are one of the most common Indigenous pieces of art we see regularly. We place totem poles in the frontier of our modern day culture as a way to represent of Aboriginal culture and the rights Indigenous people have upon this land. The same goes for the art of the museum. We are taking that time to reconcile and appreciate the Indigenous culture and what that represents. You see, it can be easy for us to read a book or watch some YouTube video on reconciliation, <laughs> Connor. But if we really want to grasp the full perspective of what true reconciliation is, we need to look at their art, which is an embodiment of themselves and their culture. I highly recommend this museum as it has opened up my eyes to true reconciliation through art and history. Thank you.